What's up, Awana kids? How are we? Happy Wednesday. It's so good to be with you this evening. Hey, I have a question for you. Uh, my question is, do you know anybody that's perfect? Do you know anybody that's perfect? Your best friend? Your mom? Your dad? You? Are you perfect? What about your dog? I have a dog. He definitely is not perfect. He chews my shoes all the time. No, I, I'm guessing you don't know anybody that's perfect. I have another question. Do you know anybody that's holy? Do you know anybody that's holy? What? Well, what does that mean? What? Holy? I don't think I know anybody that's holy. But is holy like, doesn't that mean perfect? Well, I want to explain to you today a little bit about this idea of holy. The Bible uses the word all the time, holy. Maybe you hear it in some other settings that church in Awana, from your family, holy. What does it mean to be holy? Well, you don't know anybody that's perfect, right? I don't think anybody knows anybody that's perfect. Okay, well, if I don't know anybody that's perfect, isn't God perfect? God is perfect. Good job. God is perfect. So this idea of holy means that God is perfect. We are not. God is set apart. To be set apart. That's what holy means. And you're like, what does set apart mean? Well, it's like nobody can ever be like God. We're humans. A dog is a dog. It's a creature. We're, we're set apart from dogs because we talk. We, uh, we have lives. We build things. You know, we're, we're set apart from dogs. But God is set apart from us. He's so holy. That's what that means. So how do I become holy? Doesn't the Bible say I have to become holy? Well, the Bible says this. We know that God's holy because it says in Revelation 4, verse 8, it says this. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. God is holy and we see that right there. And so if God's holy, well, Jesus was God, right? Jesus was God, and Jesus became a human, so maybe there was a human that was holy. Maybe there was a human that was set apart. Well, I'll say that Jesus was set apart. He was like no other human. He had no other sin. I want you to think of this whiteboard. You see this whiteboard? It's, it's got like no writing on it. It's got no blemish. It's a perfectly clean whiteboard. You can ignore some of these scratches, but... It's a clean whiteboard. It's a, it's a blank slate, as they call it. So this whiteboard might be set apart from different whiteboards that have writing on it. It's got, th this has nothing on it. The other whiteboards, because whiteboards are used to write on, they, they have writing on it, so this is different. This is set apart from other whiteboards. But when I take this marker, and use it, and I draw on this whiteboard, it's no longer set apart from the other whiteboards that have marker on it. It's no longer holy. It's no longer clean. And when you and me, when we came into this world, we were never holy. We were never set apart because we came into a world where there was sin. Where there was sin. I'm going to write here, humans. Hopefully I spelled humans right. Humans. Now you see, we came in and ever since birth when we were crying and we were selfish and we were taking toys from our friends, 
We were sinning. And there's all these marks on us. We were sinning. We were sinning. We were sinning over and 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 over again. To this day, we still sin. We still sin and there's all these marks. And we're no longer, we were, we were never set apart. We were never holy. But how? How do we get to be holy? How do we get to be set apart from the rest of this world? How do we get to be set apart from our sin? How do we get right with God? Because we know that all of this sin, all of these marks, all of these blemishes and what wasn't supposed to be there, it's taking us away from Jesus. It's taking us away from Jesus. And the Bible teaches us that we're not supposed to sin. We're not supposed to have all this marked up, nasty stuff within us. We're not supposed to be like that. But we're supposed to be right with God. We're supposed to be able to have a relationship with God. But how do we get there? How do we get to that relationship with God? Well, we study his word. We get to know him a little bit. We we pray, we show up to church. But do those things make you holy? Do those things make you right with God? God is holy and he can only be around holy people. But because Jesus came down and he lived a perfect life, no blemishes, no marks at all, we now get to see what it means to be holy. But we can never do it. We can never live a perfect life like Jesus. We can never do it. But we know that Jesus when he died, a death that he didn't deserve because he didn't have these marks, he didn't have all of this. This is what was supposed to put someone to death. But Jesus, with none of that, he still was put to death. And then with that very blood, with that very blood, like an eraser. It washes over all of our marks and it makes us holy, but it's nothing that we can do. It's all coming from the blood of Jesus. And there's no longer this line between us and Jesus. Jesus has now invited us To be with him. And this is the way we can be holy because Jesus was holy, but we put our faith in him. We don't live perfectly like him. We can never do that. But we put our faith in him to know that he erased all of these marks, to know that he took all the sin and put it right where it belonged, in the grave. Just as we put our trust in Jesus Christ, as our Savior, God forgives our sins. And we sing holy, holy, holy to God because he's made us holy and taken away our marks and now we are set apart from the rest of this world. We're set apart because of Jesus. We are set apart. I want you to remember that. To be holy is to be set apart. So while nobody is holy in their heart by themselves, all of it, all of the sin and the marks and 
and the stuff going on in there that's not so great, Jesus has cleansed and made us holy and set apart with him away from sin. And so God is holy and he is making us holy and we're to strive after being holy. And when you fall, when you don't get it perfect, Jesus will still forgive you. And he will say, hey, I got you. I got you. I I died for that. I still see you as righteous because of what I did. So that's the idea of holy, guys. That's the idea of holy that we are set apart because Jesus was set apart. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your holiness. Thank you that you are set apart unlike any other person or being or creature that we could ever imagine. Lord, you are set apart. And how are we ever going to get to you? And how are we ever going to be able to have a relationship with you? Well, you solve that problem by giving us Jesus so that he can cleanse all of the sin that separated us from you. And Lord, now you see us as holy in our hearts because Jesus was holy while he was here. And Lord, we want to strive to be holy like you. So Lord, would you be glorified? Pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, Awana, we love you guys. Remember, Holy means to be set apart, and God loves you enough to make you holy on the inside of your heart. Love you guys.